use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. This explanation is continued from the prior segment. For best results, watch the prior segment, number 19, first. So, with that in mind, when the person is eliciting a certain response from the universe, be it good or be it bad, they have certain meanings and beliefs, which is a resonant frequency. Remember, Meanings create frequency. Once you have frequency, resonance matches that frequency. So let's say this person is on a high good level. He's resonating very positively. So the frequency of his meanings are going to be very positive. So resonance is going to be eliciting matching results from his world, from his environment, from his experience that match his meanings and beliefs. Resonance happens at the energy level. Resonance can't happen at the physical level. Physical bodies don't resonate. It's the meanings that resonate. Meanings are not physical. They're in thought form. They're energy. They are frequencies. So meanings that are resonating, creating frequencies, are always happening in the energy form. That's the only place that a frequency can resonate, is an energy form. So at the energy level where all things happen, person's energy form, he's resonating this high frequency of positivity and... He's interacting with his environment, in this case, the card. So, resonance is eliciting a response from the card at the energy level of a high frequency. Because that's what resonance does. Resonance matches frequencies. So, his high frequency is eliciting a like response from the card. And if the card has got six personalities representing for the six different cards, and one of them is go to jail. That's a low frequency. That's a bad thing. The other one is advance to go collect $200. That's the high frequency. Then the person's high frequency, meaning resonating, is going to elicit the card's high frequency response or the card's high frequency personality, which is going to be the advance to go collect $200, that's going to be the one that's in force. That's going to be the personality that's in charge. That's the one, that's the meaning that's going to be expressed. Then in the physical form, the card on top becomes the advance to go collect $200, the good card. In the same way is with the person and the multiple personalities. He could have a personality that's really a mean, no good person. And he could have a personality that's really a great person. So if something's eliciting a good response from him and it elicits a good personality from him, immediately, immediately, he's going to be representing the personality, the meanings and beliefs, the set that matches that high frequency. Same thing with the card. So you see, the card shows you that there's no such thing as chance. When he reaches for the card, the card has already become the match because the meanings were vibrating a frequency 
We're eliciting from the world, from the energy at the energy level, elicited a response at the energy level, a matching frequency, which then had a result, which was expressed in the physical, and the result was that particular card. So, there is no such thing as chance, accident, or coincidence. It's like the dog who was waiting for his owner. Do you think it was a coincidence that the dog happens to be at the door when the owner shows up? No. When he's thinking the thought, and we're always transmitting to the universe, but when he's thinking the thought, I'm coming home, that's a meaning. That has a certain frequency. That's transmitted. The dog has a meaning of wanting the owner coming home. That has a meaning. That has a frequency. That frequency is a relevant match. It's relevant. It's a match. So the dog suddenly starts to resonate because the meaning that he has resonates with the meaning that the owner has, and he waits at the door. Now, from the owner's point of view, if he didn't know this, and most people don't, they think, oh, isn't that something the dog happens to be at the door? Isn't that a coincidence? But it's not, because you know the inner workings of the universe. You know the mechanism. The mechanism is, you have a frequency, it elicits a response, and everything that's happening in your world in your experience is results, is responses, is the expression of everything that was going on in the energy form and then being expressed in physical form. So everything you experience was created in energy long before it was expressed in physical. Now, I say long, it could have been a zillionth of a second but in universe time, that's long. It happens right now. So, nothing is an accident. Everything is being expressed appropriately based on your meanings. Because you are the center of the universe. Everything that you know is relevant to you. Because if you don't know about it, then you don't have a vibration. You don't have a thought that's eliciting it into your experience, and therefore it does not exist. So everything that does exist is relevant to you. So it is your world. Other people have their world and they may be having experiences of things that you have no idea about. But that's their world. You are the center of the universe. There isn't anything in this universe that's not relevant to you. Richard will continue this explanation on the next segment, number 21. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts.
Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.